Notification Center in iOS can be activated by swiping down from the top of the display. To close Notification Center, swipe back up from the bottom. You can clear a single notification by swiping right to left on it. To clear a full day of notifications, tap the X next to the date. On 3D Touch enabled devices, press on the X and we can clear all the notifications. Tap on a notification and the app it's from will open. Acting on a notification like this will automatically clear it from Notification Center. Some notifications can be acted on within Notification Center or on the lock screen of your device. When I receive a text message on this iPhone, a banner notification appears at the top of the display. Notice I also get a badge on the Messages app, letting me know that I have one unread message. From Notification Center, I could swipe to clear this, or press using 3D Touch to bring up the conversation right here without needing to open the Messages app. I can then respond to the message. The iPad, which will receive this message, doesn't have 3D Touch. So, when viewing the message in Notification Center, I need to swipe right to left on it to bring up the Clear button, and from this notification, a View button. Tap View, and I'm able to reply to the message. Banner notifications can also be acted on if you catch them in time. When a banner alert appears here on the iPhone, swipe down on it to quickly reply to the message. This type of interaction won't be possible with every notification, but for apps like Messages, Mail, and other communication apps, you'll be able to reply or interact with the notification from the banner alert or in Notification Center. Notifications are managed from the Settings app and Notifications. In here, we can set up exactly what apps can send what kind of notifications. If we look at notifications for calendar, I could turn off all notifications for calendar or go through and set up what sort of notification I want us to receive for certain things like upcoming events or invitations. There are two notification styles, a banner or an alert. A banner will slide down from the top of the display and after a few seconds disappear. An alert pops up in the center of your display and has to be dismissed with a tap. For something like a calendar event, an alert can be good because it's going to get your attention better than a banner. If you'd rather not hear a sound with every event notification, that can be changed or turned off here. We can also deactivate badge app icons and the ability for notifications to appear on the lock screen. This can be good to turn off for things like emails and messages that you probably won't want to be visible to anyone that sees the lock screen of your device. This can be especially important because you can now reply directly from the lock screen without any security stopping anyone from doing it. So despite it being somewhat time consuming, editing your notification settings for each app can save a lot of unnecessary clutter from appearing in Notification Center and interrupting you with banners, sounds, or alerts. It can also protect you from giving too much access to your alerts on the lock screen of your device.